what I'm actually having the students do is look at the electrical structure of the ice from the point of view of how the physical properties of the ice change with time as it warms up during the spring. So what we're actually getting them to do here is we've cleared a line on the snow and we've put a series of screws in the surface of the ice which we're going to use as electrodes to put an electric current into the ice. And we will measure the voltage that that current produces at other screws between the two that we're putting the current in through. And if you think of it very simplistically, the further apart the two electrodes are that you're putting the current into, the deeper the current is going to go into the ice. And if they're wide enough apart, it will go into the seawater underneath. So if we make measurements with gradually expanding current electrodes, we're actually going to probe deeper and deeper into the ice and look at how well it conducts electricity as a function of depth. Resistance is not a fundamental property. A fundamental property of something which dictates how well it conducts electricity is the resistivity, hmm. which you can derive from the resistance, but you, you need to know the, the geometry of the situation as well. So what we're actually trying to measure here is the resistivity of the subsurface. Okay. And the value it displays if the if this dial is set, remains set where it is, it actually displays the ratio of the voltage that it measures to the current. So in fact the dial's got ohms written on it because a voltage to a current is a resistance. So that's not an apparent resistivity, that's simply the ratio of the voltage to the current. To convert that to an apparent resistivity you have to multiply it by a geometrical factor which is different depending upon what kind of array that you use. For the Venner array, it's actually, the geometrical factor is 2 pi times whatever the basic separation is. So that is essentially the basic principle to make a measurement. You flick the switch from off to on, press the red button, and it goes. Someone writes the number down, turn it off, move the electrodes, Move, move the connections to it again. Notice it's lucky we're not way up there. Oh, it's Okay. But it's largely aimed at looking at the details of the internal small scale structure of the ice, which affects what are referred to as the transport properties, things like the thermal conductivity in particular. Uh, which, as I say, controls the heat flow through the ice. And the fact that those properties actually change as the ice warms up, particularly in the spring. And they can change very, very dramatically, very quickly. And therefore, having a good handle on what happens is in fact probably quite important from the point of view of, for example, modelling of climate. If you don't know how well heat is conducted through the ice, because you don't know what happens to the thermal conductivity as the temperature changes and you haven't got you know you've got a variable in the model that you haven't really got much control over.